What is up guys, Troy here, and welcome to another video featuring Battlefield 4. Now today on the topic I wanted to talk about some of the downsides, difficulties, problems, and disappointments I've been having with the game over the past few weeks. Uh, now to mention the gameplay, this is kind of a mashup of uh, two or three different games, some rush footage, uh, a little bit of TDM, I believe the TDM's a few weeks old, I believe I recorded that the first night I played, and the rush is just from uh, two nights ago I believe. And I wanted to talk about some of the downsides and difficulties I've been having with this game uh, lately. Uh, first, I want to talk about the game itself, the server disconnects, uh, the crashes, the graphical glitches. Those have actually been less severe uh, as of this past week. I believe I played two nights ago. I played probably about three and a half to four hours. I had one crash, one server disconnect. As opposed to the first few times I played, uh, it was probably about five or six a piece within the same amount of time. Uh, so that's certainly uh, good news. I think DICE has been rolling out server-side uh, patches to, to fix their servers. I still believe that the uh, net code uh, is one of the biggest downsides. You're still getting shot around corners. Uh, I, I, I believe they're still going with a hybrid client-side, server-side hit detection system, which I think uh, it, to me it's a difficulty and it punishes people that have good internet connections, low pings and things like that if they're playing within their own region. Uh, certainly something they did with Battlefield 3 and I think it was uh, one of the biggest failings of Battlefield 3 and I really don't want to see them uh, do the same thing and go into the same footsteps with Battlefield 4 if this game is to, to uh, be as big and and hyped up as it's supposed to be uh, in comparison to Battlefield 3. I've had a, a few other issues uh, here and there. I've had a hardware issue, and no, it's not my processor, it's not my graphics card. Of all things, it's my mouse. Uh, the left mouse button, which of course is the your fire button when you're firing a weapon, uh, is, is not rendering right, it's not reading, I guess, the sensor right or something. That's why in some of my gameplay videos you're going to see me Basically, it killed in, in, in gunfights I should have had because when I hold down my mouse, it basically burst fires whatever weapon I'm using. Uh, even despite the fact that I'm in a f I'm in using a fully automatic weapon and I'm in fully automatic mode, uh, I don't switch to the burst fire mode if it if that particular weapon has it. Uh, but I'm having to tap fire uh, my mouse. Uh, I don't know what the deal with that is. It's a Logitech G500. Uh, gaming mouse I've had it for you know over a year about 18 months now and I've never had any problems with any of Logitech's mice I'm not sure if I have to get a new mice or or a new mouse I'm sorry or, or if I'm gonna have to just try to clean it out or what but that that's been really it's been a big problem and I, I I'm not sure if it's it's if it's the game or maybe it's just my hardware I kinda hope it's the game because it, it tends to be Battlefield that I have the most difficulty in but I found myself uh, surfing uh, the internet a few times web browsing and trying to highlight things and it, it, it won't read since you have to use your left mouse button for that as well uh, so I'm pretty sure it's my mouse uh, I did go back and play some Battlefield 3 on PC and I didn't have any issues with it there so I'm not really sure what uh, what that whole situation is uh, it's just it's really inconvenient time and I really don't want to have to go buy an entirely new uh, a mouse uh, just to overcome uh, this little snafu, this difficulty I'm having uh, with Battlefield 4. Uh, it's it certainly uh, hurt my performance uh, within the game. Uh, I really don't understand why I have to put up with this, but you know, I'll get around to figuring it out. I'm just not sure uh, how I'm going to do that. Uh, but overall, like I said in my previous video, overall the game is great and I love it. But that doesn't mean it doesn't come with some downsides. It doesn't come with some problems. No game is immune to that. Uh, there, there are uh, a couple of other problems. Like I said, the net code. I mean, crashes and disconnects. That's uh, certainly not my fault. Uh, I don't play in, in, in graphical settings that are uh, too... Uh, outside the realm of the capability of the hardware I'm running. I'm running a, you know, a gigabyte uh, GTX 770. Uh, I can play an ultra if I want it and get close to 60 frames, but I play usually on medium, a little bit of high here and there, depending uh, on which graphical setting I'm using. And I get you know, over, uh, well over 60 frames, so certainly not the hardware side of things. 
Uh, now, I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I had uh, some graphical glitches uh, with selecting certain weapons, especially the XM25 Airburst Automatic Grenade Launcher. I haven't had that, actually, recently. I, I played support a couple of nights ago uh, and was, you know, trying to rank up with support. That certainly hasn't been a problem, but one of the big problems that I've had lately is uh, it certainly has to be within the game itself, uh, is when you... When I get promoted, I'm not sure, I haven't really searched the, the, the internet if anybody else is having this problem, but when I get promoted, it flashes on my screen about five or six times in a row that I've been promoted, over and over. It's like it's caught in a loop. Uh, it's certainly annoying and difficult. You really only need to tell me once uh, that I've been promoted. Uh, I'm not too sure uh, what the deal with that is. I certainly don't remember that happening in Battlefield 3. I do remember in Battlefield 3 sometimes you would get promoted, not within the game, but at the end of the round. And then it would be the next game, that very next round, it would flash on the screen that you got promoted. It was kind of redundant. Uh, it, that hasn't been happening in Battlefield 4, but it has been happening where I get promoted mid-round, and it flashes. I've been promoted five or six times. It even flashes a little, uh, the, the, the graphical icon of whatever uh, rank I happen to be at. I remember going from six, rank five to six, and it, it did it a good five or six times uh, in a row. I'm not really sure what that... Uh, I really can't think of uh, too many other difficulties I've had. Uh, like I said, the disconnects and the crashes have been at a minimum, so I'm, I'm fairly certain that, that DICE has really uh, kind of gotten their, their stuff together on that one. Uh, when the China Rising DLC comes out, I believe that's what, three, three and a half weeks away, early December, I, I assume, is when it's going to come out. I'm not sure on the date. I haven't looked it up. I assume that they'll have a patch with that, just like they did with Battlefield 3. I think they'll come out, they'll kind of stick to the same uh, patching plan that they had with uh, Battlefield 3. So we'll certainly get a patch with the China Rising DLC, hopefully address some of these stability issues, uh, so maybe some graphical issues in the game itself, uh, not just uh, issues with balance like they tend to address a lot in Battlefield 3. I certainly like to see them address a lot more actual issues with the game in Battlefield 4. Uh, that certainly would be a, a big upside to me if, if they can address that. In previous Battlefields, that's what they did. I remember Battlefield 2, the first six months the game was released, they were releasing a patch every two weeks, and they were all glitches and bug uh, patches. They had nothing to do with balance. It was almost a year after the game came out uh, that the first balancing patch actually came with the game. Another big issue I wanted to talk about is, of course, YouTube. It's not DICE's fault. It's not EA's fault. Too bad. It seems we can blame almost everything on DICE and EA, but this is actually uh, Google's fault. Is the whole integration of Google and Google Plus, excuse me, and YouTube itself. Uh, if you've left comments on any of my videos, I haven't responded. I may not have gotten notifications, but I am going to leave a link in the description. Uh, which is going to be my Google Plus, Lethal Troy Google Plus page. Just at friend me on there, add me to a circle or whatever it is. I'm still kind of playing around with it uh, and trying to figure out how to work it. Uh, that's certainly nothing uh, inside, or outs it's certainly something outside my control. We can't really control how Google wants to do this, but it seems they really want to push Google Plus as the next big social social network because YouTube is already up there with the likes of Twitter and Reddit as the top social networks. But as always, guys, that's going to do it for this video. And speaking of downsides and problems and difficulties with this game, take a look at the end game screen. But as always, take care.